Hello? Today I'd like to talk to you about the unknown stories that hide in the cemeteries. Yeah, we got more than our share. So on this dreary, rainy day, I'll tell you one. A uh, farmer here, well-to-do in southwest Nebraska, west of McCook, he married a young woman. And the young woman, it was said by some under the breath that she was just a gold digger. Of course, she wouldn't be the first woman to marry for money, and I bet she won't be the last one. But needless to say, within a few months of the marriage, he started getting sick. And within another month, he was dead. Now, he had a few relatives, and so those relatives, after the funeral and a week or two later, they started showing up at her property and on her house and in her house uh, on a Sunday afternoon, one at a time. They didn't all come together, but when it was all said and done, there was most of a dozen people there, all adults. And uh, they then took and set her down at the kitchen table. They surrounded her. And they said, we know you murdered your husband. Of course, she was trying to deny it, and they said, shut up. This is how it's going to be. We're not here for revenge, they said. We're here for truth. Just truth. And they said, if you don't tell us the truth, then we're going to go to law enforcement, and we're going to demand the body be exhumed, and it will prove that you murdered your husband, and you'll go to prison probably forever. So the options are only one, tell us the truth, and you tell us right now. The woman weighed her options, and so she confessed that she indeed poisoned her husband. They also had her put it in writing, and they would put that away for safekeeping. They told the woman that if she ever remarried, they'd give that to the law enforcement. They also told the woman that if she ever tried to sell the farm, that they would automatically tell the police department and give them the information. She was also ordered by the family to live in that house that she committed the murder in for the rest of her life. She agreed, and that's how it was. But it didn't end there, because not very long after that, she got religion. And I'm not talking prison religion where you're trying to get out of prison. She got the true religion. And everybody including myself, thought that that woman was one of the most wonderful people that you could meet. She did a tremendous amount of charity work, and she was uh, always the first one there and the last one to leave of whatever needed to be done. And she helped everybody. And nothing short of a blessing for her community. Again, I'd met the woman. I didn't know the past at that time. And be that as it may, it, sometimes you got a question of uh, how to do things. And that's what that family decided to do. And I think the uh, punishment maybe wasn't enough in your mind, but it was enough for that family. For truth was more important than revenge. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. I hope you rate this film and take away from it only the story of the only woman I ever met that murdered somebody and got away with it. Of course, she's dead now, but that's the story. Rate this film. Thank you.